right, so we're going to continue. And like I was saying before, I'm going to definitely try to keep this as simple as I can keep it. Um, I gave this the title, Basic Shit. And the way to do that, you can come to this little drop arrow, go to file, and do all your shit down here. Or you can go up top and do your shit. Same thing. Save as. Give it a title. Tag it. Where you want to save it at. Boom. You know what I'm saying? All right, so with that being said, I want to start adding in some new instruments. But before I do that, I want to organize the shit I got, which is my drums. And that's in group A. And on your controller under groups, just the A should be lit up. So I'm going to double click on this and type this drums real quick. All right, and um, the same thing for my patterns. I want to title them too. So again, it's a little drop that row. And you see your patterns. And next to your patterns, you're going to see this little pen. Just click on that and give it a title. I'm going to just type this regular drum for the video. All right, same thing with my claps. All right, and you see up top how it would change, and I can change it back. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be important, like I said later, when we start laying everything out, because eventually you're going to get better, and you're going to start adding in more patterns. You're going to start adding in more groups. So it's good to have everything labeled, because it's going to make it easier for you to lay your scenes out. You know what I mean? All right, so with that done, now I want to add in a new instrument. But first, I need to make a new group. And to do that, you just click on this plus. Boom, now group B, you know what I'm saying? And um, I know you're saying, all right, on my controller, yeah, the B lit up. But it only goes to H. Yeah, it goes to H, but after that, it's just going to continue. It's just going to go to A2, B2, C2, um, D2, and then all the way, all the way down to um, H2. And after that, it's going to continue again to A3. Um, B3 and so on and so forth so you definitely got enough groups so don't worry about that and you can always go back to your group A because as you can see I still got all these empty sound slots so I can add more shit change shit around add some more patterns you know what I'm saying so you always got that freedom so I'm gonna keep it on group B right now and um, I'm gonna go over the instruments and uh, I'm gonna go to these pluck strings and I'm gonna load this up real quick I'm gonna load up this ACC bass so again just double click it Okay, so now I got this ACC base loaded, and um, it's something I want to cover real quick. Let's say, for instance, down the line, you got a certain sound you don't want, but um, you don't want to go through all the undoing because it might be too late for that. You know what I'm saying? You can always control click on that sound, drop down the reset, and reset that sound slot. And you ain't always got to double click to add your sounds in either. You can just pretty much grab them, drag them, and drop them in. I just got to have it a double clicking, but um, you do what works for you. You know what I mean? Alright, so ACC base loaded, and you notice it loaded with this plugin Steam Pipe 2. And to the right of it, you got all these parameters, which you can scroll through. You know what I'm saying? And um, if you want to see that plugin, this little arrow, you just click on that, and this displays that plugin. Let me slide this over. Alright, so you see my cutoff here, and you see my cutoff here in the plugin. I'm going to move the cutoff from the plugin. Watch this one move. Boom, you know what I'm saying? You got full control, and this is what I love. But um, right now, I'm not going to get too much into the plugins because um, there's some other things I want to cover. All right, so I need to set my bars up. And again, same process. Just click anywhere, um, add your bars in. I'm going to go ahead and make this eight bars because this gives me a chance to demonstrate some modulation. And you can see I just made this eight bars, and my drums is four bars. My drums is just going to repeat itself to match the eight. And um, we're going to see more of that once we start setting our scenes up. You know what I'm saying? And um, I spoke about organizing. For me personally, I usually don't title my groups until I'm done with that particular group and I'm ready to start a new group. Let's say, for instance, I'm done with this group. I will title it. And then I will start my new group. You know, I just don't like to title my groups until I'm done with that group. You know what I'm saying? But teach his own. And if you want to delete a group, just control click on that group, come down to delete and delete that group. You know what I'm saying? And um, but since I titled my group, I'm gonna go ahead and title my pattern too. You know what I mean? And um, same steps, you just click on this little arrow, go to pattern, you see the little pin, you click on that and you give it the title. Alright. Okay, so with everything ready, I want to start recording. And um, right now we're in grid view. This is keyboard view. And this is the sampling view, which I don't want to talk about right now because that's like a whole nother video. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to leave it on keyboard view. You can always go back to your grid. And the keyboard layout is simple once you understand it. 
And um, I don't want to talk forever about this, but um, basically the black lines or the black keys and the lighter lines or the white keys. And um, you can just double click, add your notes in. Um, you can double click to take them out again. You know, you can um, extend them. You can move them. You can do whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? You can change the grid and um, you can add your notes in like that. You know, and um, from this view right here, a whole lot of producers I meet, especially the younger ones, they pretty much do all their work just like this right here. It's like they don't even use MIDI keyboards, you know what I'm saying? And um, they can program some Stevie Wonder shit. And um, I still don't know if that's genius or insane. I definitely know it's a lot of work, and um, I ain't doing my shit like that, you know what I'm saying? For me personally, um, I use MIDI keyboards. But teachers on. All right, and um, one more thing, this hashtag, we're going to call this the hashtag of freedom because you can click that off and um, you're just free to move it how you want to move it, you know what I'm saying? All right, so with all that done, um, I want to talk about this grid real quick because um, I got it set for eight bars, but my grid is only showing four bars. So if you want your grid to show the full eight, just come to the bottom right here, this long um, bar, just grab it, drag it. Till you see your eight or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And you can go up top and do the same thing too, all right? So now um, I'm gonna record something and um, on my controller, I'm gonna hold shift and hit record. This is gonna give me a counting, all right? So. That was something simple, you know what I'm saying? And um, real quick, I can hit quantize on my controller and quantize everything at 100%, or I can hold shift and hit quantize and quantize everything at 50%, or you got one more option. I can just quantize a few notes. Let's say, for instance, I wanna quantize these four notes. Just highlight them notes, hold control, click, and boom, now you got some more options, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna quantize these and nothing else, like so. You know what I'm saying? So that's just something to keep in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and quantize everything else and um, play it back just to make sure everything is right. That's good, you know what I'm saying? And um, one more thing about quantizing. Let's say you're doing the drum track or any track and um, you throw a triplet in or a roll. Don't quantize a triplet or a roll with your grid at 116 because it's just gonna break up your trips, you know what I'm saying? Change your grid, you know? Try 116 trips, then quantize it. That don't work, um, try 164 or try 132. Just don't try to quantize a trip or a roll at 116. All right, so um, I wanna add some modulation in, and um, it's really easy. And um, all your modulation is gonna happen at the bottom in this area right here. And if you're doing it from the hardware, all you really got to do is hold the auto button on your controller. Turn the knob underneath the parameter you're trying to modulate. You know what I mean? And if you're doing it from the software, um, there's two ways you can do it. The first way, which I think is the easiest way, is um, you had a knob here itself. And if you hover over that knob, you got this white ring around the knob. The knob itself is what you're going to use to rehearse with. And the white ring around the knob is what you're going to use when you actually want to add in your modulation. Like, for example, um, I want to take out some of the noise on this sound right here. So what I would do is hit play and then fuck around with this knob until I get it right. You know what I mean? And then once I get it right, I will slide over to the ring and add in my modulation. Um, I'm going to add some in real quick. Just watch the bottom. See what I'm saying? Easy. All right, so um, with that in, um, this gives me a chance to talk about these three tools because you got your selector tool, your paintbrush, and your eraser. The selector tool you use to add in modulation points, like I can add in one right here, um, I can add in one right here, and um, I can add in one right here. Then you can take it a step further. You can highlight the first one, hold shift on your keyboard, highlight the next two. You know, you can pretty much move more at the same time, you know what I'm saying? So, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, next, you got your paintbrush. I'm going to skip that real quick and talk about this eraser because um, this is pretty much self-explanatory. You can erase anything, anywhere, you know what I'm saying? All right? 
Next, you got your paintbrush. And your paintbrush is going to go off your grid. The grid right now is set to 1 16th, so the paintbrush is going to move on 1 16th. You can always make a finer. You can go to 128, and um, this gives you a more finer motion. You know what I'm saying? Or you got your hashtag of freedom. You can click that off and um, pretty much move freehanded. And if you want to delete that, you can just go back up to the top, to the um, knob, and that ring around it, hold control, click, and boom, it's gone. You know what I'm saying? So that's one way. Um, the next way, you got your control lane. And now let me set this up real quick and click it off because this might be off. Come to this little arrow, you click on that, and you got your control lane. All right? Um, you got your MIDI. Underneath your MIDI, you got your modulator. You know what I'm saying? Click on that, click on the plus, then control, click on that. And you're going to see your plugin. And up top, you see input and output, and you see my noise. At the bottom, input and output, and you see the noise. Now you got a modulation line, all right? Um, I'm going to draw this in real quick because I want this to come in deep and then lighten up right here and then start to head back deep on this last note, all right? So let me draw this in real quick. Right. It's going to be something simple. All right, and I want it to drop. Slide over, drop right here, and on this note, I wanted to start heading back up. You know what I'm saying? All right, and then all the way across, and then on this last note, I wanted to start going back down. All right, and um, I want you to watch your knobs too here, and the plugin because um, everything follows the modulation. See what I'm saying? And right here too. All right, that's good. And if I want to delete this, you can always come over right here to this X and click on that and it's gone. You know what I mean? All right, and one more thing real quick. Um, You can add modulation to your drums too. If you go to your drums, you got a modulation setting. Um, you can do the same thing. All right, so um, I'm gonna stop this video right here and um, finish adding in the rest of these sounds. And um, on the next video, I wanna talk more about the mixer, sins and buses, and scene arrangement. All right.